hey beautiful welcome back to the channel if you are new here welcome to kay ladonna hair artistry my name is kathy ladonna today in the studio i am working on another beautiful canvas i will be doing a silk press on natural hair her hair texture is mainly 4b but a combination of some 4b and 4c so here you're seeing me dry her hair after doing a deep conditioning and shampoo. It's extremely important to add moisture to the hair before doing the silk press process. And if you never noticed before, whenever you go to the salon, your first impression of your stylist is actually the shampoo. Not even the conversation and the interaction. Yes, that's extremely important, but the shampoo is the first impression because it is before the shampoo that I take a good look at my client's scalp and you know know what's going on with her through her scalp because believe it or not your hair texture is going to you know how coarse it is the lack of porosity or or a lot of porosity or the density or even how smooth your scalp is all of that tells a lot about what's going on with your hormones what's going on in your digestive system so if you want healthier hair just know that healthy hair starts from the inside out so yeah the shampoo is the first impression that's how I get to know my clients on a deeper level and that's also how the client gets to know the stylist because it is from the shampoo where you are able to tell like you know you ever had a shampoo done to where it's like it felt like the person was barely washing your hair you know what I mean it's almost like it's like getting in the shower and being completely dirty but not you know scrubbing yourself down properly not getting everything off of you it's like what's the point of this shower you know so it's like having a shampoo where the temperature isn't right the the firmness of the touch isn't right you know all of those things are important so you know yeah before the process i like to use a really good conditioner on the hair to add moisture to prepare the hair it's almost like an extra preparation for the pressing process along with the heat protectant that you saw me spray on the hair earlier and that's by chi so back to the condi the shampoo and conditioner because that is so important i can't stress it enough you know when i do my shampoos i like to add to the scalp and but so i do a shampoo and in between shampoo i do a, a mint conditioner that stimulates the scalp and makes the scalp feel really good and then i do a next shampoo and then after i condition the hair and i like to rinse with ice cold water because that seals the pores in the cuticles and seal in that nice nourishing conditioner that i leave the hair with so you know as i'm moving forward you saw me show the flat iron you guys want to know what kind of flat iron i'm using the flat iron that i'm using so believe it or not i used to always use chi chi used to be my thing and i have a small baby list that i use but one day when i was living in la my chi broke and last minute i had to run into target and i grabbed a remington and the remington is like half the price of the chi flat iron but i've stuck with it ever since because it is so good and the temperature that i use it as is about 400 degrees 410 degrees and I'm using a flat iron also and before flat ironing her hair I use a little bit of bio silk and the bio silk is super light depending on the client's hair I might use my Nio Ni my Nairobi um, wax that helps to weigh the hair down and when the hair is like like say for example with this client she this is her first time getting a silk press in like a very long time or i think she said it was her first time getting a silk press so when it's the client's first time getting a silk press it's like their hair isn't trained for it their hair has a lot of elasticity in it so because of the elasticity and the levels of porosity the hair will soak up humidity and revert back easily. So depending on all that I just mentioned, I might need a lot of uh, wax or oil, 
you know, the product to weigh the curls down because we're located in Florida and the Florida weather is super humid. And though I love the humidity because I love what it does for my skin and I love what it does for my locks or those with curly hair might love what it do for their natural curly hair. But the ladies who decide to rock a silk press for the moment, they're not going to like the experience of the humidity because it's going to be pointless. They come in, they get the silk press, they go back out and boom, the humidity reverts the hair back again. And some of these ladies like wearing their hair straight so it could cause damage if they're constantly flat ironing their hair after i flat iron their hair in order to keep it straight so this is where the wax comes in the heavier oil product because oil and water doesn't mix so the oil will stop you know the water from penetrating so that's the reason for that so here i am going through her hair with the hot comb and you know i like to use a hot comb because it helps me to get straight to the root and from using the hot comb i'm able to part bigger sections because as you notice i use a hot comb on one end and then on the other end and press it through and I, I yeah i like using the hot comb because then i get to do smaller sections and i don't have to use the flat iron so close to the scalp even though the hot comb goes closer to the scalp sometimes the flat iron tends to like trap the heat between the iron and the scalp and the steam burns where for some reason with the hot comb that doesn't happen so yeah i am here just working through my client's hair and flat ironing it and you know coming to the salon is such a relax a relaxing experience for most especially if they don't have to deal with like you know having to sit and wait too long that's not something that i don't like people sitting waiting and staring at me so i like for my clients to be in and out time is super important but let me hold that thought right now what you're looking at is me showing her you know basically how much she needs to get taken off for a trim most people are terrified when it comes to the trimming process because they want to hold on to every strand and don't realize that basically those split ends that tend to look like a hockey like a a slingshot where the two ends are open they work like velcro and that's what causes a lot of the tangling and also the split ends tends to eat its way up so you might find yourself having a lot of length but you don't have a lot of fullness where the length is so that's where a trim is extremely important you want to get your trims often like say for example clients who get relaxers i encourage a trim at every relaxer and if a client is consistent with their trim then they might just need a like a quarter of an inch off and if you get your your hair pressed often then i recommend a trim like say every three months or so and if you don't get your your hair pressed often and say you get your hair pressed every six, six months then maybe every six months is good for when you get a trim but again all this depends on each individual because you know like I mentioned earlier in the video you know hair health has a lot to do with internal health gut health diet health so that can cause a person's hair to split more than the other and experience damage so yes i just flat ironed her hair and you know look at that bounce look at that feather look at that shine there that's like natural shine yes there's a little bio silk on the hair from when i started but you could just tell like you know that's from the elasticity in her hair and you know her hair is just so beautiful and it is just doing its thing and that's what's so amazing about curly hair curly hair is really magical hair because as you can see it went from defying gravity to now flowing and she will be walking out the salon gone with the wind fabulous you know that's what's so beautiful about curly hair so for me good hair is healthy hair like when your hair is healthy your hair is good look at her hair look how her hair was once curly and now it is straight and when it is in the curly process it is also extremely beautiful especially you know when we go in and define each curl so we see what that curl does i am just so amazed about hair and how and how hair is just like i love working on this kind of 
canvas. Like I have a degree in fashion, so I also do other art related things, but hair is one of the canvases that I love working on. My clients are all beautiful canvases and it just excites me to go into the studio and make magic happen with them and i'm so excited that i've decided to start recording some of this so you guys could get to share this experience with me and that's why it's important for you to turn on your notification bell so you can be alerted whenever i drop new videos so here i'm showing you guys the aftermath i had to go back in and add a little bit of oil to her hair because it started frizzing right away this way the humidity this way the humidity will be sealed and locked out and her press can last her for long periods of time basically it's important when you're getting in the shower to wrap your hair up with some kind of a cloth scarf or cloth product and then put the shower cap on this way the humidity won't build up between the hair and the cap if you're still here with me i would love to hear about it please let me know by dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below you might be on your computer and not have access to the emojis so write blue heart or your experience when it comes to watching this video or whatever it is you would like to share with me i forgot to mention the blow dryer i know some of you will ask so i will share it in the box below Oh.